You can say, man, I got 5,000 bucks and I want to double my money. And I don't want to be passive, I want to be active. Here's how you can separate, here's some five checklists, I have five markers to determine the fake versus real gurus that's out there. Number one, ask a guru, ask a mentor, ask a coach, ask a consultant. Hey, how do you make money? How do you make money? Do you make money actually selling what you're doing or do you actually make money doing what you're doing? Lots of times I, I see a lot of people say, man, I'm a, I'm a social media agency, I'm gonna help you do Facebook ads, social media, that's awesome. So do you, do you make money by teaching other people to do it or do you actually do it for yourself? If you actually do it for yourself, show me some results. Show me how, how you've done it for other people. I remember one time a guy sat in my chair right here, says, yeah, I will charge you $5,000 a month for advertising. Oh, I said, awesome, okay, no problem. How many clients, clients how many customers, how, 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 is it, how has this become a proof of concept for me? Show me how to do it. Well, you know, well, you haven't done it before? Well, you know, so you're not having done it before. Well, you know, so what, I'd be your first? Yeah, you'd be your first. Well, how the hell are you charging me 5,000 bucks a month to do something? You're looking to experiment through me. That's what you're looking, you're a fake guru. You're a fake consultant. You're a fake coach, okay? But if you find somebody say, listen, I make my money doing this, da, 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 da. And by the way, I think a lot, the best of them, they spend their time in their thing versus taking time to teach other people how to do their thing. Uh, that's just been my experience. But the, the f fake versus real, they know how to make money. Ask them how to make money. Do you sell, the, 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 the thing is, do you make money digging for gold? Or do you make money selling tools to other people so therefore they can go make money digging gold? Okay? So you have to figure out, is the person that you're acquiring, the person that you're paying, are they fake or real based on how they make their money? Number two, system, the results. Again, back to my first initial thought. Have you created results for somebody else besides me? And by the way, one of the most frustrating things to, to as well is speed, what type of system you have. Because if I'm calling you a coach and it takes me a week, a month, two months for me to talk to a salesperson, for therefore they can teach me and coach me, they can guide me to making money, and your system is slow, that's just an indicator about our relationship. If it takes me forever to get to a salesperson, which should be the quickest phone call that you should make to any company, that's an indication of what type of results you can help me create in my business tools. I don't care how good you are, but if your process or your internal systems to get people to not, not only make me feel co uh, comfortable as a customer, but to get some results so therefore I can make some money, if it takes too long to do that, that's a marker, it's a, it's a, it's a red flag for me. Third thing, uh, are you gonna tell me to get ads, leads? Are you gonna sell me courses? Are you gonna sell me other things? I got no problem with that if I'm making money. But if I gotta spend a whole lot of money on ads and a whole lot of money on leads, a whole lot of money on courses first, like thousands of extra dollars? I don't know, man. There's a lot of things you can do today for free. For example, if I'm teaching somebody scripts, referrals, human nature type stuff, without creating a lot of unnecessary coding online, a lot of unnecessary Facebook ads that you are lost in minutia doing anyway, or social media ads and leads, or courses upon course upon courses, I, I don't know about that. Now, de minimis amounts, like 20 bucks a month for this, and 30 bucks a month for this, spend a couple bucks, 100 bucks here for this course, spend a couple hundred, now that, that's within inside the budget, so therefore you acquire some skills. When somebody says, hey man, you need, you need to spend another 1,500 bucks or 2,000 bucks, especially in this marketplace today, I'm kind of worried about that. Maybe, maybe for, for other people, they have a different com uh, comfort level, but for me, if somebody tells me to spend thousands of dollars extra outside of the initial course, initial way to make money, another red flag for me.